Hey guys, welcome to Rambo's Sony Secrets. So this is a little series just where I give one tip on uh, functionality of your Sony Alpha cameras. It's just gonna be real quick, no messing around, so let's get into it. I often get asked about shooting with the a7 III or the a7R III in manual in a water housing. So one thing people struggle with a little bit is they're used to having aperture on this front dial here, uh, but most water housings don't have a front dial control. So uh, this is the Seafrog's a7R III housing. Uh, but also housings like Aquatec, or Salty, or Liquid Eye, none of them seem to have front dial controls. So, so there's a super easy workaround there. What we do is we go into the menu, uh, we go into the second menu, and we go into screen number eight. Uh, there you can see there's a custom key button. So we just push that, and then that's how we customize all the buttons and controls on the camera. So first button there, control wheel, that's what we're after. So this is what they call the control wheel, this back wheel here. Uh, and we just hit that and then if you just scroll across you'll get to exposure which is number two so we just go to the second screen there and in exposure you'll see aperture so select that so what we've done there is by moving the control wheel now it'll adjust your aperture so as you move that around you'll see the aperture go up or down uh, it's a real easy fix so now when you got in the housing you can use this control here and that's just going to run that uh, control wheel and Aperture is easy to change. So straight out of the box, these Sony cameras come with a few other functions on the control wheel. So if you push the control wheel to the right, what that does is it brings up the ISO. If you push it to the left there, it'll bring up the drive mode. So when I have that back wheel set up for the aperture, what I do is I take the functionality away from everything else on the control wheel because if I'm messing around with the aperture in the surf, the last thing I want to do is like accidentally change the ISO or change the drive mode. So it's real easy to access those functions as well by hitting the function button, this little FN button here. Um, and then I can get to all those functions if I need to, the ISO and the drive mode, everything else. So yeah, so that's it. Super easy. Now you can shoot manual in your water housing. So if you want to check out some more of Rambo's Sony secrets, just click up here to see the playlist. And if you want to know when I drop new videos like this, just click below, subscribe. See you next time. Hello, wake up. Rambo needs you to subscribe to his channel. Subscribe to Rambo's channel. Subscribe to Rambo's channel. Subscribe to Rambo's channel.